Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are back at West Georgia Mud Park for a battle between three of my favorite and some of y'all's favorite mud trucks that Limes has created. Now, the tow rig we're going to be using here is Buzz's F450, and the mud trucks that we are going to be loading up shortly, you guys can see them right there in the background, we're going to actually go ahead and head over there and give you guys a little bit of a quick look at these things, but basically, a lot of y'all actually, when I recently drove the Mudcat, really wanted to see it compared to the 63 Mega and the older Bronco, the 80s Bronco, that Limes built and released a while back. Now, as you can see, the Bronco has much smaller tires than these two, but I've actually set it up that way uh, to see if the actual tire size makes that much of a difference or if it's more like the engine tune and the gearing setup that make the difference in accordance with the physics system. Now, these are all running maximum engine power and maximum high-speed transmissions. Like, they are all running as high high speed of a package as we can get, as maxed out of a package as we can get, and like I said, the only real big difference in terms of setup is obviously these two are running a similar size tire, the 63 is actually running a slightly bigger tire than the uh, than the Mudcat, and the smaller tires are definitely going to be the ones on the Bronco. So, but I wanted to add that little bit of a difference in tire size to sort of see how much it affected these rigs, and now it's time to go ahead and get them loaded up onto the trailer. So, we've got the ramps already down, and we're going to load up the Mudcat first. So, let's hope and, like, hope and pray that these things all fit on the trailer. That's job number one, but I wanted to make sure... Whoa! All right. That actually... What? What was that? What the heck was that? I was driving up the trailer correctly, and the whole entire thing was just like, nope. There we go. All right, it should be fine this time. I don't know what kind of physics glitch happened that last time around, but it was a little, uh, it was a little strange. A little bit more forward. There we go. All right, close enough. Shut that one down. Okay, 63 mega truck. Now, the tire size on this thing, well... I don't know, looking at the looking at the mudcat on there, I feel like we'll be able to fit all, all three. I think we can fit all three. Move up on the trailer, there we go. There we go. Alright, that's where it needs to be. And last but certainly not least, the Bronco. We'll get this thing loaded up. And whoa! Easy, easy, easy. Now, I haven't driven this thing in a long time, but like I said, I actually have been getting a lot of requests in the comment section to show this, this vehicle again and compare it to some of Lime's newer trucks, which I think is actually a really interesting idea, and I really appreciate you guys um, dropping that suggestion down there in the comments. And actually, this fits a whole heck of a lot better than I thought it was going to fit. Like, I'm really... Oh my god, stop it. There we go. I'm like, stop it. If you could, like, not lunge forward the second I try to move you, that would be great. All right. Oh, wow. All right. This is a lot of weight, apparently. All right. Let's pack. Put the ramps up. I said put the ramp. I, I said put the ramps up. Change suspension mode. And wow. This is okay. I didn't realize we were going to have that much weight on this thing. I knew we were going to have some weight, but I didn't realize we were going to have that much weight. Does this thing have a weighted bumper yet? Let me make sure. Let me make sure because I don't see one. Yeah, I don't see one. All right, well, we're just gonna have to try to, whoa, keep the front axle on the ground, I guess, and do some really light applications of power on our way to the mud pit. Now, normally I would turn right right here and head to the, uh, head to the main one, but I wanna actually go down to the end of the highway because there's some really, really deep stuff down there that we don't always use to test trucks out. And I think it's gonna be a great way to compare these these three vehicles, and not only a great way to compare them, but also to see how Lime's, uh, Lime's truck building has evolved over time. God, that looks so goofy. I've got so much weight on this Ford right now, it is not happy about it. Although, I could have actually probably loaded the trailer a lot better and leveled out the truck a lot more. But, you know what, I'm not going to worry about that now, and uh, we'll try to remember that for next time we load these trucks up. Now, let me know in the comments down below which one of those is your favorite. Let me know which one you would spend the day with at whichever given mud pit you chose, 
And I know that for me, it'd be a really tough call between the Mudcat and the 63 Mega. It'd be a really tough call between those two. Now, we're actually not going to go to the Mud Pits on the left. Instead, we're going to go to the ones, well, maybe we should go to the ones on the left. Yeah, maybe we should go to the ones on the left. We've got a good unloading zone down there, so let's go down to the loading zone, or unloading zone on the left. We'll get these all unpacked and unloaded, and then we'll be good to go. I have a little circuit that I have in mind. All right, let's pull in and go ahead and get parked up. Put the ramps down and shut the truck down. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Why did they not unpack it first? Weird. All right, let's get the Bronco off. And it's going to be the first one through this circuit. What time of day is it? That's eh, not too bad. All right, first one through this circuit. How is it going to do? I have a feeling it's going to do pretty well despite the really small tires compared to the other two trucks because this thing has mad power. All right. Three, two, one. Sending it. Oh, boy. Wow. Even in the deep stuff, it rips. Like, despite the really small tires. All right, back the other way. Small jump into the first section. Trying to keep everything nice and under control, but with a little bit of sliding around. Wow. That was like the most simple, easy, no drama approach like ever that this thing could have taken. Holy crap. All right, now it's the 63 Mega's turn. Why is the Mudcat leaning again? The Mudcat does not like the physics of this trailer for some reason. All right, this thing I'm sure is going to rip, but let's see if these bigger tires help it or if they slow it down. Right up to the edge of the mud. All right. Get this thing spooled up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Wow. Well, it started to bog out just a little bit, but still no issues there. It just tore right through it. All right, I'm full on the power. Modulating a little bit. Ooh, it slowed down a little bit there, but it's grabbing for grip, and it's good. Not bad at all. Not bad runs from either of those trucks. All right, now, finally, it's the turn of the Mudcat. And I feel like the Mudcat is also going to do a really good job. I feel like the Mudcat is probably going to be that happy medium of tire sizes between the Bronco and the 63 Mega. The tires on this thing are not that much smaller than the ones on the 63 Mega, but they're close enough to where I feel like it could have just a little bit of an impact and make it just a little bit faster. All right. What do we think? Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, it's super well controlled. It's like right up there in terms of speed with the Bronco, but it felt faster than the 63 Mega. Oh, get that front axle down. Whoa. Whoa, that was definitely the most dramatic run of the three, but it all, I mean, they all did a great job though. They all did an amazing freaking job. All right, let's go ahead and get them loaded back up now. I'm going to grab the Bronco. I'm going to load it first and see if I can prevent the truck from having as much suspension squat as it did last time. And I'll put the bigger trucks towards the back. So let's see. I'm also not going to pull this one just as, as far forward as I pulled the Mudcat originally. Run you right back up there. All right, that's, that's close enough. Or at least should be close enough. I can always move it forward. All right, 63 Mega now. And actually, I've just thought of this. What if I were to back on the trailer? I know I, like, always pull these trucks forward, but I almost wonder if I back them up, if that might distribute the weight a little bit better. I know it's getting a little bit, like, in-depth with weight distribution now, but still. Okay, Mudcat now. The trailer physics, whenever I switch trucks, the trailer physics get a little odd. Just a little bit strange. All right, here we go. Just close enough. And now it should be time to pack it up. Pack and fire it up. And wow, it's not, it's not sagging down anywhere near as much as it did before. Okay, we got the ramps up. I'm going to go ahead and back this thing out. And whoa, okay, let's not completely bind up the truck. 
that would be great if we could, like, not do that. Oh, this is a sketchy turnaround. I'm really trying to not flip myself over, but as long as we can stay upright, we will be just fine. And we're good to go. That was actually not a bad turnaround. That was better, that was, that was better than most of the turnarounds I do around here. It's still sagging a good bit, but not quite as much as it was before, and I'm sure that's due to the way we redistributed the weight. Okay, let's make this left now, and you guys know where we're headed at this point. You guys absolutely know where we're headed at this point. We're headed to the long mud pit because this one actually gets deeper and deeper the further... Okay, trailer brakes saved me that time. This one gets deeper and deeper the further you go, and not only that, but to add to the challenge factor, it of course has the jumps as well. So let's grab the mud cat, we'll take it off the trailer, and it is going to be the one to run first. I wanted a little bit of a different order of these things running because, you know, we ran the Bronco first before, and I wanted to give the other two trucks the chance to run right off the bat. Now, let's go ahead and actually refresh the afternoon. All right, y'all, ready? Three, two, one, send. Throttle modulation. There we go. Got to build that momentum up, though. Oh, 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 right through the middle. Dude, the Mudcat's a legend. Okay. Nothing has ever, or at least nothing I've ever driven has just plowed straight through the middle right there. That's what that max engine and transmission tune will do. All right, 63 mega now. Let's see if the 63 mega can follow that line. Because that is one incredible line to have to follow. Now this truck is definitely going to be a lot more torquey. And that could help it or hurt it in terms of what we're doing right here. All right. Spool it up. Three, two... One, go! Keep that momentum. Don't let it lose too much momentum. If you let it lose too much momentum, you'll be in trouble. But also trying to not let the truck sway. Because if it gets into that swaying motion, it can get into real trouble real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Not quite as fast, but it's still making it. And wheeling right out of the mud. That was so good. That was so sick. So the Mudcat definitely felt just a little bit faster, but the 63 Mega still plowed right through. And now, it's finally the turn of the small tire Bronco, which, in all reality, these tires are not small, especially when you compare them to real-life truck tires. But, I mean, I guess if you put this thing side-by-side side with the other two, it would look like they were small tires. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, my God. Pretty stable. That's the thing that you get with this slightly lower suspension and slightly smaller tires is great stability. Wow, it's fast. Dude, this thing is moving. This thing is moving. Digging, 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 and she made it. Wow, all right. So three different approaches to the same idea, yet they all carry out the process of getting through a mud pit in a completely different way. They all feel different to drive, and I think that's kind of the magic of Lime's trucks, is that he really has a knack for putting these fine details in each vehicle, and then when you take him out into the mud, those details all come through differently. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.